Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more EU for the Three Mountains playing as Ryukyu. Let's go ahead and start fabricating claims on little people that I am planning on attacking in the near-ish future. So, we are at war with Ming again. Uh, the goal here, of course, is to get a little bit more land for potential vassals that will fire off in the future. Secondary goal is to get them of such high war exhaustion that uh, they start firing a lot of rebels, at which point we pull back, and once we think they are good and truly doomed, we end the war and take what I want. That has to be the goal. Now, we can't get cocky here. Still very much a chance of losing the war here. Uh, I could really use another better general. Someone... Uh, where are my generals currently? Let's see. Do we need this one over here, really, though? Nah. We don't need that one there. I can't actually move him, though. Mm. Where's my really good combat one? The 11th Army. Where are you? Oh, here you are. I'm going to assign you to the large stack, because we are currently chasing down a pretty big number of Ming troops, and I'd like to have a better general available for that. There they are. Let's see if we can't scare these guys off. Well, it looks like we actually can catch up. Um, it's an even fight, but he should take a lot more damage, so let's see if that works out for me. Pegu Separatists. Hmm, fun. Oh, I have decided that I'm not going to go for humanist ideas after all. Okay. And I know, this is now the second time that I've chosen something and then immediately changed my mind before we invested in it, but that's fine. That's why you don't put points into it until you know what you're doing. I've instead decided that I'm going to go for economic. Economic's good. Lots of money. Inflation reduction is going to be very nice to deal with my um, gold mines and treasure fleets, since I have a bunch of those. Monthly autonomy change, very nice. Maintenance modifier, production efficiency, development cost, all pretty good. Here's one of the big reasons I'm going to pick it up, though. The Vassal Obligations Act. Income from vassals plus 25%. Vassal force limit contributions plus 100%. So it's just like these benefits of influence ideas twice. That's going to translate it by the end of the game into an absolute metric ton of force limit and money. What's not to like about that? I'm going to tell you guys that you are more than welcome to stack up on me if you want. All right, so we are going to be taking on 50,000 Ming troops with 49,000 of my own. Can we win the... Whoa, why are we so low in morale? Wow, he's got really good morale. Strict revive the three grand divisions. But I have much better... Oh, no, sorry, discipline. He has much better discipline. I have much worse morale. I'm surprised that my morale came in at only at, like, half, though. But okay. Uh, ooh, can we even win that? Yes, we can. Barely, but yes, we can. Oof, that took a lot. But we did get a better uh, general. So that's nice. Let's go ahead and move on to take Nanjing as the next fort. Should be finishing up over here pretty soon. Siege of Kashgar is done up in Oirat. Split, split, and split. Go here, 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 and here. We'll do some carpet sieging. I will go ahead and invest in a couple levels of the economic ideas. We're still, what, 13 years ahead of time on tech? Yep. So we're doing just fine on that front. Nothing to worry about. Um, Could... I had a thought and I just lost it. Ah, whatever. Okay, let's just keep going. Uh, we are at 1622, which means we have only 200 years left in the game. So we really do need to be picking up the pace aggressively here. <clears throat> um, which can be done. I mean, Ming, again, was one of my big obstacles. With Ming gone, what I intend on doing is splitting up the armies to, like, four different main theaters. Africa, India, uh, Transoxiana for at least a while, and North America. I say India, maybe India slash South uh, East Asia, but that kind of a thing. We'll be fighting, like, in four areas at the same time as much as I can. Oh, hi, Ming. You're all up here now? Okay. Uh, and the idea there is I should be able to expand very quickly. And if we're very clever, I might be able to chain my claims in an intelligent way. Let's go ahead and start getting a claim on this guy, too, so I have a reason to go to war. Um, I should be able to chain my claims. The idea behind this is I'll take, I'll release nations here as much as I can. We'll fight Melindi, for example. And we'll feed off all the lands, except for, like, let's say, this province. And while I'm fighting the war, I'm fabricating a claim on, say, Aden, or Adal, or Ethiopia, whoever. 
so that as soon as this war is done, I fabricate the claim, hand off the rest of the, la the land, and I can move directly on into the next war. Now, the main reason this usually doesn't work is because you can't just chain wars in the same area repeatedly like that. That's how you get massive coalitions. But the big power play of this particular strategy is that we're not worried about uh, any big uh, coalitions, because who's going to freaking attack me? Answer, no one. No one's going to freaking attack me. Not a dang thing you guys can do. All right, this guy's retreating. Could call in Delhi as an ally right now. That would make things easier, but I'd like to hold off on that. Well, let's... We have... That's not Delhi. 38 favors. Hmm. I kind of want to use Delhi against people like uh, Transoxiana, Afghanistan, Bengal, and so on. Bamanis, by the way, has weakened substantially. We could probably threaten some wars with them, too. Lots of things we could do right now. And y'all, are you freaking listening to ASMR or something? Because that's really irritating. I hear this woman behind me just whispering into the camera. She's not doing ASMR, she's sick. Well, they sound the same, but I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, well, at least you're not doing that, but... Dang, that's distracting. <laughs> no, it's okay, you can have it. Just, I didn't know what was going on, and it confuzzled me. Alright, Endo Pretender Rebels. Not a problem, don't care. Korea, Briatia, and so on. Why are you guys just sitting around? You don't want to siege because you don't think it's safe. Understood. Ming still has a good number of troops. Like, that's the thing. In order to give them enough war exhaustion, we really do want to pick some fights and just wreck their manpower pool. That has to be a big goal. Ming currently has only 7,000 manpower left, so... Can be done. A couple more good fights and they're freaking done for, right? I also really want them to lose their dang navy, because the navy's still a threat. Alright, there goes the Siege of Nanjing. Okay, I'm going to have you guys go, I don't know, um, here and here for now. Don't go too far away. I want to push toward Lake Beijing, but you're kind of outpacing the rest of the group. There's Wuchong. Okay, now I feel better. Uh, let's go here. You go here. We can't. You're stuck inside the zone of control? Oh, that's annoying. All right, let's fix that, shall we? They took Xi. Uh, he got a lot of troops sitting up here right now. We should have finished with these guys, so let's go here, 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 and here. It's wasteland splitting around Yarkan, which is always irritating. Gonna move you guys forward a little bit, see if we can scare his troops. Assassination of a noble? Uh, I can lose legitimacy, that's fine. And then I'll just strengthen the government and get some free absolutism. We currently have a cap of 95, by the way, which is really good. We could try to fire off an internal disaster intentionally to get an extra 5. I don't remember what the event is called, but we could do that. Alternatively, eventually my government reforms will give me the opportunity to get another uh, 5 maximum absolutism. So if that works, I think we can get up to 100, and that's an achievement right there. Mm. Darn it, I just spilled coffee on my shirt. Well... I'm pretty bad at that. I, sp I spill things all the time. Is a little irritating. Okay, we got that fort. Good. Move forward. Here, I guess. Hi, guys. I'm gonna really wish that I had another general soon. I want to have a general in all of these locations. Let's see. General there. General there. General here. You're the one I don't need placed right there. We need to back you up. That's what we need to do. Won the Siege of Xi'an. That was a little quick. Alright, don't go too far without your reinforcements, but let's start moving forward. Now, I'm a little concerned that Ming might decide to turn around and go over here. And it looks like he is. So maybe we do actually need to have a general over here. Uh, let's have you guys sit tight over here for a second while we figure out what he's doing. Need to be cautious. Another idea? Interest per... Oh, sorry. Uh, yearly inflation reduction? Absolutely. That will pair very nicely with the... Um, that'll pair very nicely with the amount of gold that I am producing. Our war exhaustion is getting up there. We could always spend Diplo power to pull it down, but I'm not worried about it at the moment. Okay, he's definitely trying to push to the west. Um, I could try to intercede here, but that's a lot of Ming troops. 
So maybe we don't. Maybe we just push to this fort. He's sending everything he's got over here. Yeah, we need to be very cautious about this. This is going to turn into something unpleasant. Or is it? Okay, now he's going south. Maybe he's just trying to go around me. Uh, if he's coming after me, I can always call in Delhi. I say that. Delhi's now in... No, they're not in a war. I just thought they were moving their troops down here for something. Okay. Native assimilation. Sweet. I'll take those freebies. Sure looks like he is indeed not coming after me now that I've stacked back up. Go to, uh, Datong. Go to Beijing. Let's start applying more pressure. Losing his capital is going to give him a lot of war exhaustion. But we need to kill his troops to the point where he doesn't have manpower. And, uh, he won't be able to fight back against the rebels when they do fire. Okay, he's going to kill this guy, but I'm not going to save him. I don't think I can get the reinforcements fast enough. Not worth. Well, I say that, and then this happens. Hang on. National Bank pays dividends. Cool, we nationalized that. Uh, you are going south with that army. You're locking. General in charge. Force march. Can I get this fast enough? I feel like this is a bit of a risky play. We might lose this fight. These guys are going to die regardless, so let's wait until I have the reinforcements in place. Now, 50,000 on 45,000, and he has no manpower. I mean, that's the thing, is even if we lose the fight, just inflicting enough damages can get us to win regardless. Uh, we do have some rebels. If I go for the National Unrest guy, that will make things a little bit easier for now. So we will do that. And I could promote you. Let's hold off. Calling up recruits. Bushi gain influence. National manpower modifier. Lose war exhaustion. Yeah, that's pretty good, though. National manpower until the death. But we have permanent national unrest. I'm just going to reduce the war exhaustion. I'm going to take the short-term game. Oh, I shouldn't have kept my force march on. Oops. That's fine. Come on, roll a little bit better than that. Jeez. Okay, you're locked into a defensive fight with me. I'm going to consolidate the uh, front line. We should be able to win that pretty well. Oh, look at that minus two penalty for you, sucker. Alright. You sorry, sorry fool. You could never have been the chosen one. Is that a topical Dark Souls reference? I think it is. I think it's a topical Dark Souls reference. All right. All right, Ming. How you looking now? Uh, up to 3.7 war exhaustion. All right. Split, split, and split. We're going to go here, here, here. Wait. Here, 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 and here. Uh, calm separatists. Yarkand ate the entirety of calm? I didn't even notice that. That's one of the reasons they're too freaking large. I wonder if I could release uh, Calm as a uh, vassal slash tributary. That'd be fun. Where are you going? You going to Hohat? Lack of demand for lacquerware. Aw. But lacquer. You might be going all the way up to Shenyang. Shenyang. Bah humbug. Can't be expected to know any of these things. Okay, so Yarkand, not a threat. Once we're done with Ming, we're in good shape. Definitely want to grab these forts. He is going to Shenyang. That was expected. Vassals are doing a good job of just kind of coming in and filling in the gaps for me at this point. Apparently we have some rebels. I will assist in killing you real quick. Push forward, push forward, push forward can't go here. Alright, don't worry about Rabong. What is this? That's occupied by Chagatai. So these Separatists... Sorry, Calm. I mean, I would have loved to let you live, but you got in my way. Cannot be tolerated. Lost our conquest against Vagina Gar. Yeah, I need to get a lot of claims. What's this, by the way? 
Oh, right. I didn't decide in between videos to go ahead and train up a bunch more uh, trade ships. Have you guys go ahead and join up over here real quick. Let's just uh, try to get rid of them. Come on, sink him. He's got heavies. Didn't actually want to fight that. Just wasn't paying attention. Oh, wait. Never mind. Never mind. Go this way. Go over here. I don't want to fight 62 more Ming ships. Okay, now he's going to go worry about Korchin, Jianzhou, stuff like that. Faster I can finish off with Ming, the better, though. <clears throat> but I need to take some more fights. We need to be picking fights. So, for example, start going down there. I mean, I'm boxing him in currently. Datong is done. So you guys are going to start pushing forward. I need to pick out that 50 stack and crush it. Have you guys push down south as well. I want to kill these guys. So let's box them in from the north and a little bit from the east. Kind of sneak up on him there. Ming peasants. I mean, okay, it's good to see that he is having some rebels. We can see that he has like 6.3 unrest in most provinces right now. That's going to add up very quickly. We just need to destroy his ability to react to it. Uh, sooner Beijing falls, the better. Scott, that's Yarkan's army. I'm not worried about them. Advisor died. Huh. I'm going to go for the... Um... I was going to say I'm going to go for the spy network. Do I want to go for the spy network? Can I get someone better? Well, we can start demanding power. New World Charters. Not worried about Diplo Power at the moment. Support of the clergy. Ooh. I need to give the clergy some influence. Hang on a second. Hold the fun. That's a pretty good base tax. Give that to the clergy. Still not enough. Uh, okay. What about something over here? Hmm. Don't really want to give them manpower provinces. Or gold. That's all a little too valuable. That's a trade port. Alright, we'll give them this as well. That gets them up to 40 influence, which means we should be able to now get some more stuff. Okay. Uh, national unrest, missionary strength. Of course, that's not what we're looking for, but we could get somebody for the power. I will take the cheap missionary strength guy since I already have. Actually, I'll just take both. Demand some support. Then we're going to call a Daie or whatever. And demand military support, I guess. But I can't recruit a minister. That's ultimately what I was coming over here to check, but now we know. Interest per annum? Sure. Not really worried about that. I am going to take the spy network guy. It's going to allow me to uh, build up my spy network and get my stuff a lot faster. Hey, we have another free merchant. Okay. I did start steering some money out of Canton. We could collect a little here in Burma. We have 35% control, 7 ducats flowing out, not going into my coffers. Let's collect a little bit of extra money there. Malacan Separatists? Okay. Again, not really worried about it right now. He wants to retreat, but Champa is leading the fight to go and kill. Good. Good, Vassal. I shall reinforce you. We shall crush the heretics. I hope. And even if you lose this fight, you've bought me enough time that I can win this. There we go. Suffer. He's going to go right here, right? Crush him. Okay. This is looking good. This is looking really good. Uh, You... Where did his army... There it is. He's running all the way up here? Alright, well, let's not take attrition. He's running into the heights of Siberia to flee from me. A clever tactic. From a worthy adversary. Not really. I despise the fool. I don't think he's worthy at all. He's not worthy of my time. Uh, let's go with there. Okay, so there goes the rest of those troops from Ming. So now he's at 7.1 war exhaustion. So that's working. 
Let's go take a little bit more from him. Um, peasants are just going to kind of continue to inflict some damage. I need to get Shen Yang. Why don't you go over here while we chase down his army? He's going to this right here. I cannot believe you're actually going all the way over there. What am I talking about? Of course I can believe it. Coward! Okay, we're at 99% war score now that I have Beijing. Which is good. Um... So let's think about what I want. So we know that there are a few more independent nations that I haven't got. For example, Yan. So, I need a diplomat. I need claims. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, we'll get a claim on Shang Wei. Actually, I'm really close to getting another one. We'll hold off on that. I just need one claim against you, though. How about Beselampi? Because that sounds fun. Okay, pull back. I'm not going to continue with Jian Zhou. Let's just get that real quick. Okay. So... Ming, I know I would want to take, let's say, this, so I can get Yan. There's one right there, Jin. Um, another one right here, Shun. Go for the cheap ones, honestly. We don't need to go for anything expensive. What about up here? That's Shun as well? Oh, wow. You can go pretty far. Caradel. Yeah, but Caradel only has one province. So I don't see that as being very valuable. Shu, however. That one's pretty cheap. And Dolly. Okay. So all of these guys. Who's this? Yi. So I assume this works. Okay. Nope, that's a different one. Chen Cheng. Hang on. What about this? Meow. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Okay, well, that's the best I can do at the moment. So that's a 100% peace deal with Ming. And they would accept in their current state. Again, I need to just demolish them so that they can't fight back ever against the rebels who have to fire. Lose war exhaustion again. Sweet. Very happy with that. Go here, here, and here. And here. Try to avoid the peasants while you can. Where are you going? You're going here? Okay. I want you to go here. In the grasslands. Don't let him flee into freaking Russia. No. Force march. Get in there. This is going to be a little bit tough, mostly because it's going to be very difficult to catch up with him, even with the Force March, just because frickin' Siberia. But we're going to try. I just need to invoke a lot of pain on this sucker. I've got 242 Force Limit now, by the way. Uh, what do I want to do with my Diplo Power? You know, I kind of want to annex some people. We will go for a little bit more development in my Gold Provinces. Kind of increase how much money we're getting out of that. I thought there was more gold. Is there not? There is a little bit. Spend a little bit of that, but yeah, I think we should go ahead and annex somebody. Um, Yamana, maybe. Can't say, well, I'm at war, but yeah, we could just eat them real quick. That's a way of kind of increasing my own personal power. We also already have stuff down there that I need to turn into states. So, we are going to get into this fight. You arrive on the 4th, you arrive on the 3rd. Actually, wow, we catch up totally with these guys. Perfect. Can get a claim against Mutapa. So, we'll go for Zumbo. And then pull off of you. I'm going to start spying on Moravi. I'm not going to continue with Melindy at the moment. Um, I don't think I need to do anything over here. I do want to spy on Mur. And I guess we'll leave it at that for the moment. 
Okay, so let's see how this fight goes. In grasslands, so that's good. I don't even think there's a river crossing. There might be. Moloccan Separatists, that's fine. Alright, all the troops arrive. Eight versus a two is a good start. And get wrecked, sucker. Land fire damage. Cool. I don't know where he's going to retreat. He can't retreat. He's going to go right here. This is a stack wipe. We're going to destroy his army entirely. It's not stack wiped. Oh, that's because... Well, I forgot Force March. But there we go. So that's Ming's army. They're gone. So does Ming even have any troops? They're up to 10 war exhaustion. That's good. So what we do now is we take these guys... And we go home. We go deal with rebels, and we go home. Stay out of their way. Let the rebels do their thing. Do not risk dying. Try to get this last fort for good measure. They can't do anything over here. You should have no manpower left. Ming doesn't even factor in on here anymore. Oh, that's amazing. No longer at the top of the charts. You have 4,000 manpower, and 6,000 troops in total. So yeah, there's not much he can do. Ideally, I'd like to see him lose money fast enough that he has to disband his freaking navy. That's apparently going to be a while, though. Shen Yang is done. Is there another guy up here we could release? Just Yan, who I'm already going for. Okay. Khmer entered into a military alliance with Ming? Oh, come on! Hey, lose five inflation. Interest per annum or yearly inflation reduction. Yeah, the National Bank is great. I don't know where I got it, but I'm glad. I want it. Use that. Okay. Um, I'm not seeing rebels. You're at 12 unrest in a lot of these provinces. So, I mean, like, surely they're going to fire soon. They can't last that much longer. Not really. Midas Touch, national tax modifier on our air. That's nice. Let's go kill Ayutthaya rebels. We probably should just go save Champa. Haven't done that in a while. I'm gonna try to get my troops out of here too before we get black flagged in weird spots. Um, so we would have to fight Khmer again. Oh, sorry, Ming again if we attack Khmer. Then again. Somehow I feel... We lost the Siege of Nanjing. That's fine. Somehow I feel like Ming would not be in a position to defend them. Especially if they have a good number of rebels. I still want to have this 100% peace deal. 12.7 war exhaustion currently. Let's go ahead and pull you out of here. I think you guys are going to go up here. With the intention of eventually fighting Transoxiana and so on. Start pushing in this direction. Okay, so these rebels are already gone. I guess we can go deal with Malacca. Hold up, guys. Don't be so aggressive. We need to have some reinforcements. Now kill the Animists. Okay, good. Kill those peasants. Don't let them go anywhere. This big stack doesn't need to be here. We'll kill Prome probably next. You don't need to be here. Why don't you go over there, I guess. Sukotai has grown. Hello. Remember that we can threaten wars wherever we need to. Ming has officially gone bankrupt. Hello. And there's Wound Separatists. Okay, so they are going to try to force this guy to grow. So we're starting to see it happen. The magic's happening. What's this? Dolly? That's somebody I intended on releasing. So, perfect. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't kill them. Don't kill that. No, oh, those are the guys we want to let live. Those be the guys we want to let live. Why don't you just go down here for now? Or something. I don't care. Just leave them alone. We need to abandon Ming to its fate. Ideally, they do not take the province that I care about. So I can easily take it for myself. I'm trying to remember. 
This is not despawn their separatists, right? I don't think so. I, I feel like that's a dumb question, because it shouldn't. And yet now I'm second guessing myself. It doesn't despawn separatists, right? Okay. Um, Tango and peasants, that's fine. Come on, I need, to, I need to see a bit more going on here, guys. More rebels. 21. War exhaustion. Feels like it ought to be more than that. What? Positive stability, consort of the people, religious unity, non-accepted culture. That's not adding up. I don't know. But I don't care. I know we need to end this video, but I'm, I'm pushing forward anyway. Murr, hi. I'm fabricating a claim on you. I don't care which one. More claims? Monthly autonomy change. That's really good. Okay. Come on, rebels. You're sieging the thing that I asked for. Mm. Can I shift this around? No, that's too much. Hang on. Cheap, cheap. Too expensive. I want to release shoe, but I need something cheaper. Six developments. Four developments. Okay, hang on. How does that cost more? I can do this, though. That shifts things around a little bit in my favor. Still good with that. Come on, rebels! Come on! We need to end this video up here. I know you guys are just waiting for this to happen, but this is such a huge power. If this works, guys, I get all of China basically for free within a few short years. Like, it's a huge power spike for me. So I'm really trying to manage it. We only progressed three years in the game, so I'm not going slow. But we do need to start turning to other targets because we're taking too long. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.